A prayer to ask God to fight your battles. Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Over the ages, one of the most indisputable facts about God is his wonderful ability to fight for his own. The main focus for the scripture, Deuteronomy 20 verse 4, is the children of Israel. The children of Israel fought many battles. Some of the odds were in their favor, while in some cases, the odds were greatly against them. In such situations, when they were outnumbered, outgunned, the children of Israel were commanded not to be afraid of their enemies. Instead, they were instructed to rely on this everlasting covenant of God's word that he will fight their battles for them. History reveals that most of the battles that the Israelites won was not by their human strength, but by the strong arm of God. Hence, it is an evidence that the scripture, Deuteronomy 20 verse 4, was fulfilled in their lives. Similarly, in this world, we are faced with a lot of life challenges. Just like the Israelites, we are also in a constant battle with lots of enemies. In many cases, our own power may not be enough to deliver or bring us to victory. It then becomes imperative for us to pray to God for the fulfillment of his unfailing promises that are written in the scripture so that he can fight our life's battles for us. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I worship your name, for you are worthy to be praised. I sing praises to you this morning, for you have shown your faithfulness upon my life. Be exalted in Jesus' name. I am grateful for your love upon my life. I exalt you on high, for you always come to my aid to deliver me any time I call upon you, Lord. I say thank you for any time I pray to you. You always hear my voice and grant my heart's desires. I worship you in Jesus' name. God, according to your word in 1 John 5 verse 14, which says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Standing on the covenant of this scripture, I have come boldly to your presence this morning to seek your face in prayer. I'm praying that you hear my prayers today and grant my request by the power that is in Jesus' name. Lion of the tribe of Judah, I'm pouring out my heart's desires to you this morning. I pray and ask that henceforth you will start fighting my life battles for me. It is recorded in Exodus 14 verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Lord God Almighty, allow this verse to come into fruition in my life. Let this verse be a reality in my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, when the Israelites were encompassed about by the Egyptians and the Red Sea was before them, they cried unto you for help, and this scripture was your accurate words to them. You asked them to keep their peace and that you will fight for them. Therefore, I'm praying that whenever it seems that life's turbulent situations are prevailing in my life, Whenever I am surrounded with unavoidable battles, Lord, I pray that you step in and fight my battles for me.
in Jesus' name. I pray that you grant me peace in my heart, despite the situation, the peace that surpasses all understanding. I will trust in you, Lord. My heart will not be troubled, no matter the situation, because I know that you will fight for me. You are the same God that made a way for the Israelites. I'm praying to you, the unchangeable God, that you also will make a way for me from every one of my life situations in Jesus' name. I stand on the word of God and know that because I have you, I shall not become a prey to my enemies in Jesus' name. You will always step in at the right moment to deliver me and give me an unprecedented victory in Jesus' name. You are always on time, Lord, and I thank you. Lord, according to your unfailing word, I stand on your word, and I declare that I am no more afraid of what may come my way, because I trust in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I go out fully to conquer every one of my life's battles, for you are with me in Jesus' name. I thank you for the victory in advance, Father, because your track record is good with me, Lord. I have faith that you will always go before me in Jesus' name. For your written word has made me to understand that you are a consuming fire. Therefore, I know that any of my enemies will be met by the consuming fire that is the God of this Bible. Thank you, Lord, for your protective nature over me. I will sing, Lord, just like the children of Israel in Exodus 15 verses 1 to 2. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. I'm praying unto you, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, that you show this awesome side of yourself in my life, in Jesus' name. I want the world to know that the God I serve is an awesome God. Lord, I pray that this scripture start coming into reality in my life, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray your word in Isaiah 42 verse 13 to existence in my life, in Jesus' name. For it says, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Henceforth, I declare that you show yourself as a mighty warrior in my life, so that the world may know that only you has all the power in Jesus' name. God, in your name, I rise up against my enemies. In your name, I secure victories in Jesus' name. Lord, as you go before me, break down the gate of brass for me in Jesus' name. Unlock every door that has been locked against me, in Jesus' name. Because I have you on my side, I refuse to be afraid. Because I have you, what shall the enemies do to me? For I have you on my side. No weapon used against me shall prevail. Because I have you, 
I stomped upon my enemies. For you have placed them under my feet, in Jesus' name. Standing on your beautiful promise in Isaiah 49, verse 25, But thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. I'm crying unto you, O Lord, that henceforth you will contend with those that contend with me in Jesus' name. From now henceforth I declare that no man or woman will be able to stand against me. No life battles will trouble me any more, for they know that you, Lord, will always fight for me and destroy those that are against me in Jesus' name. John 14, verse 14 If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Lord, I worship you, for I know that your words won't fail and they will never change. With full hope and assurance, I believe that you have answered my prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen.